In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Your spirit. Well, good evening, everyone. This is the Wednesday, week four of Easter. Uh, we uh, are doing pretty good. We're still isolating ourselves. We're doing our best we can to uh, pray that this epidemic will soon come to an end, which is there's light in the tunnel we're hearing more businesses opening up and uh, the numbers going down for the coronavirus, so that's encouraging. So our social distancing is working. So we pray that God will help us to have courage and not to lose heart and that we will uh, keep faithful to the Lord. So as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his gift of pardon and peace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessed of the just, listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to advance and gain adherence. Then after completing their mission, Barnabas and Saul returned to Jerusalem and brought with them John, whose other name was Mark. Now in the church at Antioch, there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, a member of the court of Herod, the ruler, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, after fasting and praying, they laid, laid their hands on them and sent them off. So, being sent out by the Holy Spirit, 
they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews, and they had John also to assist them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Although Jesus had performed so many signs in the presence of the people, they did not believe in him. Then Jesus cried aloud, Whoever believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And whoever sees me sees him who sent me. I have come as a light into the world so that everyone who believes in me should not remain in the darkness. I do not judge anyone who hears my words and does not keep them, for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and does not receive my word has a judge. On the last day, the word that I have spoken will serve as judge, for I have not spoken on my own. But the Father who sent me has himself given me a commandment about what to say and what to speak. And I know that this commandment is eternal life. 
What I speak, therefore, I speak just as the Father has told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus talks about judgment, that my words will be his judge. W.C. Fields made an impression on the American film world as few Hollywood stars have ever done. Comedians still impersonate him, and television commercials will occasionally present a W.C. Fields mimic to plug their products. There's a story probably uh, apocryphal that the, toward the end of his life, Fields spent a lot of time reading the Bible. Someone asked him about this, and Fields replied, I'm looking if I can find any loopholes. The implication is that Fields knew he had lived a life that wasn't full of accord with the gospel. Now he was looking for a way to excuse himself when he appeared before the judgment seat of God. In what sense will we judge ourselves rather than have God pass judgment on us? Certainly we try to examine our life at the end of the day and try to make an examination of conscience when we go to confession to try to judge our life. And we ask God to help us to be, make a good confession so that we can have a, a new start, so we can stay close to the Lord, that we can receive his grace, that we won't allow, allow anything to be a hinder into that grace, receiving his grace. When we watch the, uh, the television show American Idol or Britain's Got Talent, they have a panel of judges. And as we watch the musician or the uh, acrobat or whatever, the performer perform their uh, stunt, we are often judging them. We judge them at home. We have a, an immediate like or dislike towards them, how they could improve or if they're being silly. And, uh, but the judges and the judges panel they uh, are full of compliments. I kind of admire that. They all have different compliments to give the person to encourage them. And uh, God, when he made us, he said that we were good. <laughs> Sometimes we might be very hard on ourselves, judging uh, ourselves maybe too harshly, that God is much loves us. He loves us with a great love. He loves us despite our weaknesses. And uh, even though we uh, know that we like to improve, uh, God wants to help us. So that's all encouraging signs. Albert Camus once said, I shall tell you a secret, my friend. Do not wait for the last day of judgment. It takes place every day. Certainly, uh, as we uh, go through uh, each day, we... Uh, uh, realize what, how we need to grow and how we need to come closer to God. So as we come together to celebrate the Eucharist, we ask the Lord to help us to have a clear vision, to be able to see ourselves as God sees us, and that we'll be able to improve our life, that we'll be able to live in the grace of God so that we can delight in his kingdom. Let us stand together now as we offer our intentions for this day. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, that God will help him to have courage to lead the church during these difficult times. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our bishops, that God will give them compassion and kindness, and that they will uh, also be kind in helping us in our parishes to lead them as the people through these times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all our Kent, Lambton, Roman Catholic family of parishes, for all our parishes, for all our people, that God will give them courage to help them to stay close to God and to keep their courage. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are suffering from the coronavirus, for those who may be sick, 
for those suffering with cancer. There were many of them on the phone calls have told me they have cancer and they're trying to recover. There are those going in the kidney dialysis. That God will help them to be cured that through the skills of doctors and nurses. They may be returned to their former duties. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for our young people who are preparing for confirmation and First Holy Communion. We pray for our, our people in the RCIA that they, God will give them the graces they need to persevere in their preparation for these special sacraments. And we pray that we will be able to plan a nice day for them uh, when the corona pandemic is over. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have died, especially those who have died during this pandemic, that we haven't been able to celebrate their funerals. That God will give them patience and that we'll, we'll be able to celebrate in a nice celebration with their families after the pandemic is over. For this, we pray to the Lord. For any special intentions that you bring to Mass, make them in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we ask you to hear our prayers in the name of your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will come for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. this water and wine we come and share in the divinity of Christ help us help to share that humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, watch my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by our worthy way of life. And we ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, over, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Ronald Peter Faber, our Bishop, Joseph Jabrowski's auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace, Christ with you. Peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to the newness of life. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.